Hello everyone, this is Fiona welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make some cute reversible signs for the ports using Cricut. Thank you Cricut for sponsoring today's video. So now let's get started. For today's projects I will be using the ultimate cutting machine that Cricut has, the Maker 3. Oh my goodness, I just love this machine. It's so fast and also you can cut long projects. Alright, for the first project I will be making a large sign for my front door. So I went to Cricut Space and customized my own. So uh, all I did was just type happy and then harvest and then I went ahead and just select the font that I like it. So once I was happy with the fonts on my sign, I went ahead and just went to add something else on it like this little pumpkin that you can find on the pictures. I just placed it on my sign. Alright, so once I was happy with that, I selected all together, attached it and now we're just going to let the machine do the work. So make sure you have the right measures when you're going to cut. So like that you will have no problems wasting vinyl. So we had the design cut, now I'm just going to be using the wedding tool. Alright, so I'm going to hold down with the vinyl for a little bit and I'm just going to be working with the wood. Alright, so I'm going to be using this really bright orange color and it won't be like that. Alright, so I give it really good coat and let it dry. And then I'm going to use the antique wax and give it really good coat with the brush first. And then I'm going to grab a little towel and remove the excess and I ended up with such a beautiful color. I really love the color. Alright, so now it's time to place our design on it. So here I'm just going to be placing the transfer tape first. And then slowly I just go to be placing on it. Alright, a little tip for this uh, for projects like this one. As you can see, some of the paints coming off, but I didn't mind because it made it look the side like weather or all. <laughs> Alright, so it looks really nice, but a little trick that you can do to avoid that step is just remove some of the sticky part of the transfer tape on a little towel and you will be fine so you will have no problems removing some of the paint i didn't mind i really like how this turned out and then i changed my mind and i ended up removing the a and placing the pumpkin right on the top and not on the bottom all right and there you have it all right and for the final touch for this beautiful sign i just going to be using some mash parts just to reinforce the letters and voila it look how gorgeous oh my goodness it looks it looks beautiful in my porsche Alright, so now we need to do the other side, so I decided to do something for Halloween. So I just went to Cricut Space and spell Happy Halloween. And then I also grabbed one of the little girls and I just placed it on it. And once I was ready to make it, I went ahead and just pressed the button and let the machine do the work. Alright, we have our design cut and it's time to use the weeding tool again. 
Once I was done with it, the design, I'm going to leave that design on the table for a little bit and we're going to work on the wood. So as you can see, uh, it's still plain so I'm going to use some black acrylic paint and a little bit of water and then just give it really good coat. All right, the paint is dry and now it's my favorite part. Let's put our design on it and just have fun. I honestly had so much fun making those large signs for my porch. I really enjoy it. And we are basically done with our first reversible sign. All I did after was just add a little bit of mash brush on the edges of the letters just to reinforce the glue. Alright, and oh my goodness, I just love it. I just love it, love it, love it. I think it came out so cute. Move on to the next sign. This one is, is smaller and oh my goodness, but I think they are so cute as well. So once again, I went to Cricut Space and create my own. But you can also go to projects and pick some of the ones that I already made and just choose those and easy to make. So once I was happy with the design, I also forget to mention that I, I went to pictures and also grabbed some of those pumpkins and placed it on it and I just love it. So ready to go. So I pressed the button maker and then I just select the vinyl and let the machine do the work. So once again, I just prepared the wood using the same black acrylic paint with water. So once I was ready, I went ahead and just removed the rest of the vinyl using my wooden tool. Then I just used the transfer tape. And now I'm just ready to go to place the beautiful design on the board. And that is it for this one. So quick and easy, right? Oh my goodness, I just love it. Alright, move on with the other idea. I went to Cricut Space and went to pictures and I spelled trick or tree and I found some cute picture so i picked that one because it has the little candies on it and i knew that my kids would love it so i picked that one and i went ahead and just make it so all i did was just make sure that i had the right measures and then i just love this that i don't have to be placing the <laughs> vinyl on the mat just without mat select it and let's do the machine do the work i just love it all right then i went ahead and just removed the excess of the vinyl as you can see then i just placed the transfer tape and i also cut it to make it easy to display it however i like it So as you can see, I placed the letters right on the top and I think it came out so cute. And that is it for this one. And I just love it. And 
for the last DIY, I must confess this one is my favorite. So I went to Cricut Space once again and, and went to pictures and I picked that one. It says welcome to my porch. I was needing something like that. Alright, so then I just made sure that I got the measurements that I need and I went ahead and just make it. Oh, before I make it, I also want to mention that I didn't a welded both uh, like that i had a different mat only because for this project i'm not using the roll i'm using the uh, vinyl sheets so like that would be easy just to place the second mat all right just place the vinyl and let the machine do the work The design is cut, now it's time to remove the excess of the vinyl. Alright, once you have that, now it's time to place it on the board. Here I have another piece of wood and I already painted on um, white so I went ahead and just going to be placed right on the top. So like that I will have some space on the bottom part to place something else. The design looks so beautiful on the board so for the final touch I'm going to be repurposing the planter that I did a while ago in one of the my idea was for the look for less challenge so I went ahead and just grabbed a lot of hot glue and placed it on it. As I've mentioned it before this one is one of my favorites because I can use this side all year long. All I have to do is change floral and there you have it. I think this project came out absolutely beautiful. But I would like to know what you guys think. Which one was your favorite? So if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. So that is it for today and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. God bless you all and see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.